So they're walking into a random house unannounced as a quote unquote prank. I tell you what, you walk in my house unannounced, you're going to meet your maker immediately. How's everybody doing? My name is Anthony Brian Logan. And today we got to talk about the most hated man on the internet, a quote unquote prankster over in UK by the name of Mizzy. This guy's filmed himself doing all types of ridiculous stunts. I showed you the very beginning clip. He was walking into a house unannounced, talking to the husband, the wife, the kids, terrorizing them, terrifying them. He also stole an old lady's dog. Did she get it back or not? I have no idea. He also tried to jump over a Jewish man right in the street. I'm sorry, he had the hat, the curls, everything. He wound up not jumping over him, but kind of pushing him almost down. This guy's out of control. He is widely hated all over the internet. And you know what? Before I get to the video of his interview with Piers Morgan, which was a dumpster fire, by the way, before I get into it, I just want to say this. There are quite a few of these guys that I've done videos on. Remember the one guy that was pouring uh, water from a jerry can that it might have been gasoline in people's cars talking about um, setting your car on fire. And then the, the, the rancher man pulled the gun on him almost deleted him right there on the street. And then there was a guy who crashed his airplane in California as a quote unquote prank talking about, Oh, well it was a mistake, but really it was on on purpose. Then he lied to the federal lives about it and he might go to the penitentiary. There's been quite a bit of this going on, not just in us, but UK all over the world. And before I go any further, let's go ahead and roll the interview. I won't play the full thing because of time purposes, but I will link to it in the description box if you want to watch it in full for yourself. If you're on IG, visit the link in the bio, go to the corresponding article on the website. But without further ado, let's go ahead and roll it. But first, many young people see social media stardom as a fast track to fame and fortune. People you've never heard of can become very famous and very wealthy very quickly. That's right. From the business of back now, I mean, I, I probably got to stop it at certain points because I'm not sure how they're going to do with the copyright and whatnot. UK, they get a little weird. Piers Morgan might be kind of triggered, but let's keep on going here. I can click some followers online, but with more than 500 hours of content uploaded every single minute just to YouTube, how do they even begin to get noticed? Well, some influencers have a talent. They can sing or dance. Some give brash opinions. Some play computer games. Some give friendly tutorials on things like do makeup or make music. But others get their clicks by... Honestly, behaving like complete morons in California, a YouTuber and pilot faced. Yeah, I, I covered that story right there. That, that was a crazy years win. in jail for crashing an airplane to get more subscribers. Others have jumped from city buildings, taken on wild animals, crashed cars, you name it. However okay. mad it is, someone has tried it just for the clicks. And all in the name of becoming Insta famous. This week, a social media prankster named Mizzy, has generated headlines and abject outrage for so-called pranks, which mostly involve just terrorizing innocent bystanders. Now, this, this right here was crazy. Ain't no way. Like, you at my house, man, I'm getting my gun immediately. Immediately. I don't know what you got going on. I don't know if it's a prank, if you're trying to rob me, if you're trying to kidnap the kids or the dog, or you're trying to steal some stuff. I don't know what's going on. I'm getting my gun right away, but UK... I'm not sure it's legal to even have weapons like that. James. James. Uh, hello. You got a nice dog. The, the caption says how to get a free dog. And the, the dog was just walking, I guess, no leash or whatever. And he took the dog. And he's running away with the dog. Now, I don't know if she got a dog back. I, I will presume she did. If he just stole the dog, I mean, isn't that like a way to go to jail? I'm perfectly fine. We're gonna die. It's always question to die. So you can you can see kind of what's going on. Clown behavior, right? Clown, clown, clown behavior. Let's get straight to it. Media without the written permission of the people in his videos. You might think that's not much of a punishment or much of a deterrent. But what does he think? Well, fresh from the courtroom, he's here now. All right, well, good evening to you. Hello, hello, Piers. Long time no see. What do you mean, long time no see? Last time I hopped on your thing with my friend. Oh, that's right. You, you appeared in the background, didn't yeah, you? Mate. We were digging into yeah, you. Yeah, Okay. Well, I'm with your mate. Um, you know, not I some of the UK language is a little bit difficult to understand, especially some of this 
you know, the street slang type stuff. I'm going to do my best to try to translate whenever I can. So I guess he was in the background of a, a video, maybe where Pierce Morgan was interviewing somebody on the street. I don't know. As, what I am is an interviewer. Who is, I'm curious about what has been motivating you to terrorize the people around where you live. Why do mm, it? I wouldn't really call it terrorizing. I would just call it more having fun. But let's get this out of the way first. I apologize. You see this situation that blew up on the internet, the walking into random houses? The next day, I apologized to the woman because I felt bad in it. Like, deeper than social media, like, it went deeper than social media. That's why I didn't record it. She recorded me apologizing to her. I told her sorry and she explained that she was terrified because her children were in the house. And I understood. What were you it. doing in the house? What was I doing in the house? I don't know. It was a stupid video. Like, I got. You don't know. <laughs> I mean, like, imagine, imagine that, though. Imagine if you in the United States doing something like that. And they ask you, hey, why were you in the house? I don't know. But now half of my shoulder has been blown off by uh, um, ABL shotgun, allegedly. Peer pressure to, to say. I don't want to say it like in that way. But well, somebody else's like, fault. I'm not, I'm not blaming no one else. I mean, you break into like, a house, with a, the with, house. A, with a woman and a husband and two I young, went into the house on my kids. own accord. No, I'm just saying, okay, you went through their door. Right, mm. but it's not your house. You're not supposed to be in there. Oh, no shit. You are causing a lot of alarm to that poor woman and to her children who are in the house. You then... He's not, he ain't really trying to hear it. These young guys don't even really care because ultimately, I think at the beginning, they were talking about there was like little to no um, real penalty. He's not going to, he won't go to jail for it. So it's like, whatever, I don't care. I'm going to keep on doing it because you guys are going to be upset, but I'm going to still be able to get a lot of attention. OK, I'm sure there are plenty of people that want to go on Pierce Morgan show and give him, you know, and, and be interviewed by him. But he's there. He's getting the attention from this. Terrorize this poor elderly woman and take a dog away and traumatize her. Uh, you run so the story to, about that. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Let, let me speak. No, no. Yeah, because no, 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 no. Let me speak. Let me speak. No, 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 no. I'm going to tell you. Let me talk you, about that situation. No, for the viewers, you, no, no, that. wait a minute. Wait a minute. For the viewers, Wait who, a for the viewers Wait who don't a know what you've done, hold up, hold up. I'm going to tell hold them. Up, so you hold on. Right now. No, oh you boy. can hold on. Right now. I'm explaining. It's been going viral I'm explaining. They, they know what's been happening. Yeah, Dumpster fire right away. Right, right from the beginning. Just keep talking like an idiot. I. Right, don't. Let me finish what I, the viewers don't know you. I. Is that what they say in UK? I didn't think that was. I thought that was more of an American thing. That's like what we said in the 90s. I. You know that that was more of our thing. That's interesting. You did. I. You go up and you do these things. You take a dog from an elderly woman. You leapfrog over the top of an orthodox Jewish man standing at the side of the road, minding his own business. You go up to women in the street. Well, he didn't quite clear him from what I saw. He kind of just like jumped on his back and the guy almost fell. That could have been, that could, that could have been a lot worse than what it was. Three and say, do you want to die? It wasn't a woman, it was a man. And she even There says, were also women that you did There was a woman there, but I only say it to the man. Right. You shouldn't be saying it to anybody. Fair enough. But why, are you, why, in the name of so-called prankster humour, why cause so much alarm and distress to so many people? Do you get your kicks out of doing that? Not necessarily, but you could say that this whole public outroar just makes me laugh because people are getting hurt over something that didn't happen to them. And that's how I see it as. Man, you... come on, man. Like, at the end of the day, people have the right to like things or not like things because, check it out, if you're doing this stuff and putting it on social media, you want to get attention, you want to get the clicks and the views and whatnot. In order to get clicks and views from what you do, they have to either like it or dislike it. So that's, that's the whole purpose, okay? If people don't find it interesting, if they're bored, if there's no emotion with it, they're not even going to watch if they like it and they want to see more of it, they're going to watch. If they truly dislike it, have a passionate dislike for it, and they are still interested in kind of seeing what's going on to kind of hate watch, then they're going to watch. But there's got to be some kind of emotional attachment some kind of way. Either I love it or I hate it. It's got to be something. So it makes no sense for him to say, oh, what well, didn't happen to them. Why are they worried about it? Well, because... It's a thing that is going to be polarizing. That's why you upload it. You, you know that for a fact. What do you mean? People are getting hurt over something that didn't happen to them. Everyone acts like they, they have this persona, like they don't care. Uh, social media is a facade, this, that, and the other. But when me comes out and does the mad thing, everyone has something it's to say. It's not the mad thing. It's, it's just... the mad thing. Mad thing. I guess it's like a crazy action, uh, a nutty type of performance. You guys in UK, let me know what a mad thing is in the comments, if you will. It's, it's the mad thing. You, you, no. you, already, you, already you already said it was the mad thing. It's, it's a mad thing. No, it's, it's not mad. mad. It's, it's moronic. 
It's the kind of thing anybody could do. Seeing and hearing Piers Morgan say Mad Ting is hilarious. Let's get a soundbite of that. Mm. And you do it for kicks and you do it for clicks and you get your little moment on TikTok and presumably your peer group that you referenced earlier, they all think, good on you, good on you. He's right. He's right about that. Absolutely. And to a certain extent, social media kind of incentivizes that kind of behavior, especially TikTok. They're really good at that. They incentivize that kind of behavior. So he's 100% right. Speaking about Piers Morgan, that is. And I don't think this guy right here can even really, he, he can't even deny that. Yeah, Mizzy, this is hilarious. Meanwhile, some poor woman thinks you've stolen her dog and is traumatized. Mm -hmm. Another woman has a two kids and you're bursting into their house uninvited. All right. Like you're jumping on Jewish people. See, I was right? jumping you're already... on Jewish people. Hold up, wait yeah, a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, no, no, stop. You did. Cool, it was a Jewish person, cool. But there was a trend going around on TikTok called 300. I've been listening to numerous people, black people, white people, age, any mm. types of people, I don't discriminate. So don't stop saying orthodox Jewish person, like I only targeted him and it was only him that I went for. Mm. Why are you? But you know what? The thing is, when you do stuff like this, Mizzy, they are going to say, oh, it was Orthodox Jew because that's what it was. So they can frame it however kind of way they want to. But you can't get mad at it because you're the one that did it. You should not have been doing that at all. And since you did do it now, they're going to make it be even worse. They're going to magnify it. What you did was wrong to begin with, but now it's worse. You see, that's how it works. But ultimately, it was your decision to do it in the beginning. No. targeting anybody so they're gonna show it right here see my man got the curls and the hat and everything like completely that right that guy right there you might want to not do that too because they're gonna label you as the next funny mustache guy and that's real talk what do you mean well, what do you mean why am i targeting anyone it was a trend it was a trend i just done it for a trend what's Literally the trend plus. what's the trend free oh jump over someone at the time of the beat however much you scare them huh? however much you scare them or even if you push them into a car. No, that's, that, that didn't happen though, because I saw- It didn't happen by it chance. It didn't happen, but it didn't happen. A lot of the stuff that you do- it didn't happen. Could have consequences far more serious, but you don't care, do you? As long as you get I a laugh- I have remorse, I have remorse for all of these you things. You don't have any remorse. What do you mean I don't have any remorse? How are you telling, telling you me? You have no remorse. Are you in my life? Do you live in my life? Huh? Do, are you there for my pranks? Have you been there in my What's life? What's your life? Tell me. You tell me my life. Well, okay, I'm gonna stop it right there. Um, he talked about just saying, you know, I have remorse. I've apologized to people, all this, that, and the third. Um, Piers is asking him about his mom. He said he didn't really talk to his mom like that. Uh, he finally doesn't like it like that. And then Piers was like, well, where did this come from? Where did this kind of behavior come from? This just do whatever I want to do, rebellious. Where did it come from? He was like, look, I'm my own person. I wasn't raised to be this way. I'm my own person. That's what he says. But, of course, that is probably not necessarily true. You know what I'm saying? A lot of these African kids will go to um, a foreign, go somewhere else, you know, the African parents don't really play like that. So um, maybe if your parents weren't really in the picture, then this might happen. I'm not really sure. But yeah, this was interesting. This was, his name is Mizzy, but his actual name is Bakari Bronze O something. Uh, uh, Bakari Bronze Ogaro. Okay, that's his name. I'm not sure if he's first generation, if he's been here for a while, or what's going on. Clearly African. But that is pretty much it. So, yeah, that's the most hated guy on the internet, Mizzy, uh, ridiculous prankster. And I think at a certain point, as I close, a lot of these guys are incentivized to do dumb things like this, to jump on people, run in their houses, because, first of all, he even said it later in the interview. He's like, look, it's not my fault the laws of UK are weak. <laughs> he said it right there. So, obviously, if you can just do stuff like this, get away with it and make money, not go to jail, not get a real penalty, then he's going to keep on doing it. I'm not saying it's right. I'm not trying to defend him, but you know what a solution would be? If you don't want to see guys like this running the houses, first of all, Second Amendment, that's not a thing in UK. Castle Doctrine, also not really a thing in UK. If you have those two things together, maybe you're not going to run to somebody's house because if it's me or people I know, you cross that threshold, man, it's Chinese New Year. It's going to be on and popping, quite literally. Okay, that's the first thing. Second thing, when you do things like jump on people, uh, threaten and menacing, you can go to jail for that, or you might get a fine. It might be a civil penalty. Those things would be deterrents away from doing this. But as long as there are few deterrents, it's not really a big deal, people will keep on doing it. Very simple, but I think I'll leave that right there for now. And what say you? How do you feel about this interview from Piers Morgan with the most hated man on the internet, the guy by the name of Mizzy? Whatever your thoughts are, 
Let me know in the comments below. You guys know where I'm at. An easy way to stop this would be to have some kind of penalty and to have castle doctrine, Second Amendment, all those things. You cross that threshold in front of my crib, man, you are going to the upper room immediately. I ain't, I ain't wasting no time. I ain't trying to figure out what's going on because I don't know what you got going on. If you got a mental problem, if you got a gun, a knife, or I don't know what's happening. I'm not going to take my chances. I'm going to depend upon my laws in my state, my city, my jurisdiction to protect me. Now, you, on the other hand, you're doing the wrong thing, so may God be on your side at that point. But whatever your thoughts are, please let me know in the comments below. And that's all I got to say for this video. If you like what you heard, please comment, rate, share, and subscribe. Peace.